Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United and of course George, welcome along to the channel everybody and it's um, a rumours around Leeds video, excuse me, <laughs> it's a rumours around Leeds video um, there's not much to, to say really to be fair about about anything uh, at the moment and you know but you know I've seen one link that I've just want to touch on today really but there's nothing really going on with with Leeds and transfer rumours there's nothing really much to talk about in terms of rumours round Leeds and, and transfer rumours in January we now only have two weeks or so left of this January transfer window we're on the 16th now <clears throat> aren't we so it closes on the 1st of January so yeah just over two weeks left isn't it I think it that uh, I think it closes uh on the first doesn't it so yeah not much going on but we'll just touch on a rumor that i've seen today and one or two sort of outgoings as well perhaps that, that i've seen and i want you to discuss in the comments set below on you know do you think we're gonna sell him do you think we should sell him all that kind of thing so let's get going remember to like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new and you enjoy the content and yes, let's get going. So the, the link that I've seen today, and it's not really a link, I think it's a, a not a very reliable um, source, has come out and said that uh, Spurs no longer need, um, they, no, they no longer need Ryan Sessignon. They want him to go out on loan along with a few others. Uh, in the squad as well, uh, they're not you. They're not. They're not. They're no use to Ange Postecoglou. So, yeah, he's going to send them send them out on loan, and 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 Ryan Sessignon is one. I can't remember the other two, but the, the that's the one that Leeds United fans will seem to jump on, because of obviously our need for a le a left back in in this window. We really do need one in this window, and it's not looking likely now with with just two weeks to go. But you never know, things start to change quickly, don't they? And, and it's all about whether we can get a deal done. And if we do, then that's great, because we do need one really left back. If we can only get one done, then, then bring in a left back, you know what I mean? That, that'd be that be fine, really. Or, or a man that can play both on the left and the right. Ryan Sessignon can play further up the pitch, but he's mainly um, you, you know used on the left side. did come on. And play, I think, the final seven minutes of, of Tottenham's 1-0 uh, win over Burnley in the FA Cup um, last Friday. Not not the one gone, the Friday before that. Um, yeah, 1-0 one -nil, one -nil winners, weren't they, at, at Burnley at Turf Moor in the FA Cup. He played the last seven minutes. It was his first appearance for nearly a year since a, since a Premier League game against Manchester City in February of 2023. So... Hasn't played a lot of football and, and let me know if you are thinking of this as a good situation. He's twenty three year old. I mean, if 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 Jed was still here we'd be we'd be fastly becoming the, the, the sort of Spurs B team with with Joe in there now, but it's uh, of course only Joe now in the the squad with Jed gone now to Genoa. Sessing Young is the same age as Jed Spence, he's twenty three. Um again, hasn't played a lot of football at all since Coming to Spurs, I think off from Fulham, wasn't it? Did have a loan spell, didn't he? Somewhere, but I can't remember quite where it was off the top of my head. Um, but let me know what you're thinking about uh, Ryan says. You know, I think one or two uh, Leeds publications are kind of, oh, you know, we need a left back. They're selling him. We've got a good relationship with Spurs because of various different things, and obviously we've we've managed to do the Jed and and Joe deals. Um, in, in the in the past of this season so I think people are just putting two and two together and, 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 and getting five aren't they really it's not I don't think this is any legitimate link I think it's just Leeds fans maybe hoping because we think some people are getting a little bit desperate now in terms of uh, in terms of left backs and things but there you go the, the, the other departure I kind of want to speak about is, is Charlie Cresswell who has been linked to be going to uh, Millwall back to Millwall where he spent last season on loan of course he's thought to be going to Millwall on a permanent basis I've seen the, the figure of like 2 million suggested look Charlie Cresswell is obviously not in 
in Daniel Fark's plans. He has said, I think, in, in the event that Charlie goes, that we bring in another 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 centre back that we do uh, replace him in effect in the squad, but he's not going to get game time. He's clearly not wanted by Fark, and it's best for all parties. I think if 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 Leeds just part ways with him, really, it hasn't really worked out. Of course, for Charlie, showing a little bit of bad attitude from what we've what we've seen on sort of social media of of late. Who knows what's gone on behind closed doors? But he's obviously not had the right attitude for Fark and. We know Fark's very much cutthroat, isn't it, when it comes to players and their attitudes. Obviously, sent Jed back for 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 you know for lateness to trainings, not attending team meetings, not attending events that are that is sort of mandatory for a player and things like this. So, Charlie maybe fallen out with Fark over something. There's obviously nothing. There's the I don't think there's a a way that he plays in in this team now. Showing a little bit of um, petulance for me on social media as Charlie with a bit of sarcastic comments and, you know, things like, oh, you know, being a while with him playing football, you know, with him in the Leeds kit and stuff like this and just knuckle down and get on with your job. You're clearly not in the manager's plans. The only way to get in the manager's plans is to knuckle down and, and get your head down and <coughs> fo- sorry, excuse me, focus on getting yourself into the into his plans basically and he it looks like he's got a little bit of a he's taking it the wrong way. I do understand the the frustration but you've just got to bide your time and, and knuckle down and it looks like he's he's by all accounts not done that. His dad as well has been um you know as well taken to social media as well, hasn't he? Saying again on stories and stuff saying like be nice to see him play and things like this and it's just like, yeah, I understand the frustration but just knuckle down, keep your head down and get on with it and you might actually find yourself playing a bit of football but looks like Charlie's on his way out and it's it's the best way for for everybody really if he's not going to play football. It's a real shame because he, he, he could have been something and got given a contract at the start of the season. Obviously maybe that was before Far could really seen him play and, 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 and seen what he wants to do with him. Obviously he's so fit not to play him hardly ever times in this in this season but for me, yeah, you just got to knuckle down and get on with it. Really, it's 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 a bad way to go about it. Um, throwing your toys out the pram, as it were. Let me know what you're thinking about Charlie Cresswell and the situation and the centre back situation as well, because it seems like Fark has said we will replace him in the event that he does leave. Just the final thing then to to speak about. I think it's it's something like London football or London sport or something like that. A publication in the Capital are saying that Leeds United are trying to get Joe Rodon's signature done in this month. So in the next couple of weeks, we're trying to sign him on a permanent deal to sign it to 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 avoid like a, a a tussle. I think the word was used for his signature in the summer. So Leeds want to get it done and dusted. It would be a fantastic signing. Joe Rodon has has proved himself to be a a, a real integral part of of what we've done this season so far and hopefully what we're going to do is seal promotion but let's wait and see but Leeds apparently trying to wrap up uh, the deal for Joe Road on in the next couple of weeks thanks very much for watching like I said it's very slim pickings at the moment very quiet as of recording in terms of January transfer rumours but there are a couple for you to just chew on and mull over and, and give your thoughts on but thanks very much for watching marching on together I'll see you on the next one.